Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing great. In today's video, we are going to sh talk about how we can create lookups using Splunk search queries. So in previous videos, I have shown you how we can create uh, lookups by going to settings and then going to lookups and then creating a lookup file. Now here we are not going to go to that option. What we are going to rather do is we are going to use this search query and whatever the results which have come, we want to you know keep it in a lookup file. So first thing, I'm just going to go to uh, settings and going to go to lookups and going to show you what are the lookups which are already available. So when I create a new lookup, you already know that it exists or it doesn't exist. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to setting lookup table files and from here we can see list of all the lookups. So right now we have uh, these many lookups and now what we will do is you can see this is the query which i am running and what it is giving me it is giving me list of all the log files which is being monitored by uh, splunk okay so now let's say i want to keep these uh, log files in a lookup file okay and then uh, that lookup file will be used by many uh, people for many different dashboards okay so that can be one of the scenarios now why you want to do something like this is uh, there can be many reasons to do that so I'm not going to go into more detail of that but one reason can be that you want to process the data once and then you want to you know keep that either keep the process data in a lookup file rather than everyone going and running the same uh, query which is going to you know uh, going to run over many events and then going to process the data so for example here you can see that you know the data which it has given is only uh, some uh, 11 items and for that it has to process 175,000 uh, plus events now once uh, anyone else is going to run this query in that case again it has to you know go through all these number of events to get this data so rather than that what we can do is we can pr uh, process this data and keep this data in a lookup file okay so now in order to add this data to a lookup file all we need to do is we need to use command output lookup and after this command you need to specify the name of the lookup file and then the lookup file is going to get created under the same application which uh, under which you are using this search option so here we are using a search and reporting application so our lookup file is also going to get created under search and reporting so now uh, i'm going to give it a name of let's call it uh, log files monitored by splunk okay dot csv so make sure it ends with .csv and that's it. Now if I run this, it is going to create this lookup file and going to, you know, we can then be able to see that lookup file here. Okay, so it has processed successfully, no issues. Now we can go here. Now let's refresh this and we should be able to see the new lookup file which we just created. Okay, now you can see that new lookup file has already come here and also you can see that it has been created in search application. Okay, so if you have uh, ran this query under ITSI application, then you would have seen this lookup under ITSI application. Uh, so that's it. If you want to change the permission, you can do that as well. Now one thing you can notice here, by default, if you are uh, creating a lookup file using uh, Splunk searches, then it is going to show here as no owner. In the permission also, if you want, you can change the permission or by default is already has read permission for everyone so that is fine and now what we can do here is uh, now we can just go to you know search and create a new search query and also we can uh, we can uh, read the data from that lookup file to make sure that we have all the data uh, written in that lookup file so the search query is going to be input lookup And here we need to give a name of the lookup file. So name of the lookup file is this. So I'm going to give this .csv, hit enter. And now you can see all the data which is available in the lookup file. Okay, so this time it just has to, you know, process 11 events because that's the all events which are available in that CSV file. So now uh, other people can use this CSV file to see list of all the applications or log files which is being monitored by Splunk and again it can be used in many different ways by them okay now uh, you may want to automate this process of you know uh, finding a new log file and adding it in this uh, adding this in this lookup file for that all you have to do is you can save this as a report and let's call it let's call it report.csv okay so 
uh, log files monitored by Splunk reports.csv then click on save and then you can go ahead and click on schedule and then schedule this so whenever it is going to run it is going to basically update the lookup file and also notice one thing uh, okay let me first show you how you can schedule it just click on schedule report and then you can run it once every day or whatever based on you know whatever uh, whatever scheduling demand which you have so in this case we can just say run every day at zero zero click on save and now it uh, this has been saved and it is going to run uh, once in 24 hours okay so this is fine and the other thing which we can uh, do is we can click again here on open in search and now i'm going to show you how you can append more data to that lookup file so right now what is happening is every time this search query is going to run and then it is going to create a new file okay basically it is going to overwrite this file and uh, then going to add this new data now uh, let's say you just want to append a new row of data in the existing file so how you can uh, achieve that so for that it is very simple all you have to do is you have to uh, specify here append equal to true okay so once you do append equal to true it is going to append the data in this csv file okay so in this case if i run this of course i'm going to get duplicate data in this csv file so for example i'm running it and now it is going to add this data again in the csv file so here if i run this input lookup and this uh, lookup file then you can see this time we are going to have more number of entries in this file okay, so you can see we have uh, 22 entries because data was already existing and then we added the same data again so you want to make sure that you don't uh, add duplicate data in this lookup file and for that again you can use some you know some sort of query or some sort of uh, lookup to make sure that you only end up adding new data in that file okay so uh, i'm not going to discuss about how we can do that uh, how we can append only you know uh, new data in the csv file probably we'll keep that for next video and for this video if you have any doubt uh, go ahead write in the comment section i'll be more than happy to answer so that's in uh, that's it in this video see you again in the next video